Hi, everybody. So we look like this because uh, this one got uh, surgery on her eyeballs and has to wear these ridiculous glasses. And I have decided that since that rude commenter from last week said it looked like we just woke up when we do the interviews, that I would look like I just woke up. So here it is, bitch. Come on down and comment again. Oh, you can't because you're blocked. <laughs> Welcome to our super professional channel. Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Yes. Breakfast of champions. It's milking time, mama. <laughs> We're here. We're all looking our <laughs> absolute finest. Um, we have some questions for you. Shall we chit chat? Let's do it. Okay. We're starting with my favorite question. I ask everybody. Okay. What, All right. <laughs> um, did you have a backup entrance line in mind or did you just go with the one you, that you chose and like that was the only option? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I was going to come in and say, uh, say something like, um, jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. <laughs> or like, uh, <laughs> like a knife. No, never mind. Um, I know exactly what I you was... mean and I hate myself for it. I don't know. I was just gonna do like I can't even remember. Like, what else was I gonna say? <laughs> but wasn't it? It was specific to the outfit, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I had utter, so I'm not like utter mm. themes. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I'm like, so stupid. Thanks. You're welcome. You walked in, and I was like, "That seems right. She's she's gonna represent yeah. exactly well, what I, I would I got expect. that. I got that outfit upgraded recently because I at that time stretch cow print is impossible to find i went to every fabric store in toronto i called every fabric store in the gta i checked online and people barely even had cow print i would have to, i've had to buy cow hide how fuck no. am i gonna make an outfit in cow hide? so i had to go to value village and get a cow costume and then we cut it up and it, but then putting it on it started running because the fabric is so shitty mm. oh, so no. if you look at a costume i have some runs in it um, and so you had to line it over. Oh, the outfit was something. <laughs> <laughs> I know that struggle. Uh, I know that struggle. It's I can't real. believe Anne's fabric didn't come through for you. They've got everything. You know, I, I know they do. They really they do. Love me spot. They, they're, Anne's is amazing. Uh, stretch cow print? No. 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 But now everyone has stretch cow print, so. It's great. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, isn't that the way? When you need something, it's nowhere to be found. And then three months later, it's like, Oh, that thing you needed? Yeah, we have six yeah, people no, the, no, the, 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 the day The day I got back from filming, I had to go fabric shopping, and every store had their own cow print uh, section. <laughs> stretch, cow, stretch cow print section. Um, we'll just attribute the trend to you. Uh, they didn't know. Me what and they Monique Hart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she loved me. She was like sending me voice messages on Instagram and stuff. She's just like living for me. So she's, sweet. She's I cannot think of a better great. person. I She's like, her. I really love her. It's so cool getting like uh, validation from like other like rue girls from the states. I don't know, like, I am I considered a rue girl? Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. We said yeah. so. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so cute to watch which of my U.S. friends from the franchise are screaming for which of our Canadian friends who, like, just joined the franchise. Yeah. Because it's so cute to see, like, because I kind of have an idea from, like, working with you guys and knowing you guys for years who you guys love. And then, like, some of the girls knew about you. Like, Jiggly has called me every single week and, and given oh, me a full that. rundown of, like, her, she thinks you're hysterical, like, whose she look she loves. Love yeah, she's obsessed with all of you. She, and she was like, okay, so I had worked with Scarlett and Priyanka, but I had not worked with her and her and her, and now I think that next time I'm in town, we should pick her and her and her, and I'll go for lunch. And I was like, oh, yeah, in the world. Okay, let's do it. Oh, my right? God. You guys would get I feel, like, I feel like Jiggly can put, put it back, you know? Like, I... <laughs> Like, me and her could just, like, go to town one day. You know? Oh, my like, God. It would get so inappropriate yeah. immediately. I can't Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go to Mandarin or something. Hell, yeah. Um, you um, know what's crazy I want to say is, like, I, I – so, like, uh, I think my two favorite queens, Sasha Velour, I love Sasha. I, everyone loves Sasha. If you don't like Sasha Velour, you're a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> Correct. And – Correct. Other one is Katya. 
I love uh, Katya oh, so much. You and Katya, uh, yeah. Similar, you and Katya like, would be chaos in a room. In fact, let's Katya. also make those lunch plans. Oh. And like, I just really, like, she, I found she was like following me on Instagram. Yes, oh my God. Like, I'm such a fan of hers. Like, I fucking gag. And uh, I think I, I said some things on Twitter that I didn't know was uh, in a response to something she said. I thought it was something that a fan said because somebody somebody tweeted a vague thing about themselves and uh i thought it was about fans i was like oh well they don't know what they're talking about and this that and the other thing <laughs> and then uh the next oh, day no. i went to an article um explaining exactly the situation and quoting me so i think she fucking hates me so if you no talk to way. Her, or, if, or if you see if kaji you see this <laughs> i love you and please punch me in the face <laughs> can we film it <laughs> I made a mistake. I made yes. a mistake. Absolutely. There is there is no way that she would take personal offense and hate you for that. Don't worry. <laughs> she yeah, if there is a right. rational bitch who knows about not using social media correctly at all moments and like posting things <laughs> by accident and saying weird shit, it's Katya. So you're I love fine. Katya. That's she's fair. fucking she's... like amazing, man. She's so smart too. Like she's very she knows what she's doing, bitch. Mm -hmm. She can also she can also snack snack hard, so yeah we'll go on a grand oh, let's take all of these bitches to a buffet and just go crazy Fram. no Fram. when i met her when i met her at the uh uh what's the fuck, uh, tour what was it help me and dying tour the help me and dying. yeah Free. Oh, yeah. i just didn't want to buy tickets and i'm like i've always been fucking poor as fuck so so like i i like you know i love katya uh, katya and sasha are my two favorites but i've never really fangirled recently because it's like i've been doing it for like six years and it's like it's just like it's just like they're like my superiors <laughs> you know like they're like they're like they're like yeah so um i my my partner Connor, loves katya like loves katya so fucking much like he loves katya <laughs> I, bought, I bought him the science book he's always watching uh um and for his birthday there's a, a local artist who did uh Portraits of drag queens and stuff, and he did one of, of uh, Katya's on uh, tracksuit summertime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I bought it for him, and he loved it. Oh my god! And so when I went and met Katya, he I was gonna surprise him with it, um, and he ended up having to work. So I just met her, and when I met her, I oh, was yeah. like, when I met her, I didn't know what to say because I was like just chilling. I was like. Hey girl, I have this painting of you that I wanted to bring to sign, but I didn't want to be a fucking loser. <laughs> and she looked at me and she said, yeah, you gotta be cool. And I said, yeah. And then we took a photo and the photo is this. Oh, yes, that part. I remember. We I remember. That meet and greet. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nice meeting you. And then I walked away. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing coming out of Canada's Drag Race, besides watching you all, like, get adored and worshipped and, like, uh, hopefully have, like, fame and fortune when the world reopens, um, because you work hard and you deserve it. Um, is the idea that like soon the the meet and greets that we'll do the media for in Toronto are going to be you guys? That's that, really fun. That thrills me. That I can't Get, wait to fuck with you guys while you're trying to keep straight. Buckle face up for a lot of complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, because we're used to it. We're used to it. <laughs> juice box we work dry con. Time. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, girl, my feet are. Box. Like I got bunions and I'm oh, always you said that last night. You gotta you get like a night. rainbow rhinestone runner and just pass it off. Just don't mention it, no one will notice. When you were saying last night in the lip sync, you said if it looked like I was emotional, it was just because my feet hurt. <laughs> my feet are fucked. Oh, I'll show no. you. Do you wanna see? Yeah. Oh, oh here it comes. Oh, oh my no. god. Ouch. Ow. It's fucking crazy, eh? Oh, I'm so sorry it's for so your big. life. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, weird ass heels. Can you Make get that it... shaved off? It's not like you go to the lady at the back of the mall and get him shaved off. You got to go into fucking like a doctor. surgery, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, they like go in and they break your foot and they saw it off and then like, That's they put it all together extensive. again. I think they you put, should just make it part of needles. your brand that you, ew. No. No. Yeah, it's like, it's like a six week, uh, recovery time do it now do it now mama when the world's not open yeah that's yeah, what that's, i did with that was a, well there's like a wait list and shit and my cover uh, story for when i left was that i i got bunion surgery i fucking wish i did oh my god 
Just like I comes immediately a... out of filming straight into bunion surgery. <laughs> I like literally would have the sexiest feet right now if I got bunion surgery. Oh my god. <laughs> Just make it part of your brand that you wear soft, fluffy slippers and like you're already so kooky, no one will ask questions. But like a sickening outfit, I'm just like yeah, like a and full sequin gown, stuff. and then like that's what um, Trinity does at DragCon. She'll wear like a full pageant look, and then she'll take a step, and you realize she's wearing like squishy like reindeer slippers. Just turtle slippers, <laughs> yeah, the turtle smart. Yeah, oh yeah. I used to have um, froggy slippers as a little kid. I've always liked frogs. I always liked green. Anything green as a little kid. Yeah. It's crazy because my whole Grinch thing, but like I actually. Like, I know. I was gonna say that surprises me zero. Yeah, because <laughs> like um, but like I love frogs and I had little froggy slippers that that were really good. Really fancy. That was so <laughs> I cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Just yeah. make that part of your brand. We'll just find you stuffed animal slippers that make sounds, and you can pair you know them what? with anything. If you can find, okay, you know what? If you can find the Snooky slippers that are like uh, that are like uh, shoes. I used oh to my god, that's I perfect. Those. I love those. Imagine if they did high heel slippers. So they do for big... Minnie Mouse. They have like little Minnie Mouse, her like those yellow high heels that she wears. That is freaking hilarious. I had the weirdest dream last night that I was shooting my, that I was shooting my first runway, which was my gorgeous potato outfit. And like, <laughs> I'm fucked, man. And my heels were like, they were like fluffy. They were like, they were like plushy, which is so weird that we're talking about this now. Ooh, oh, it's manifesting. It's already going to be... I can't wait for you to do a full plush look and you're just in like, oh God. slippers and something squishy. I'm like, I can see the cogs turning in your head right now. Yeah. We're going to start seeing smoke oh coming out of your ears because you're thinking so hard. She's like, I need a notebook. I have to write ideas down. I will I will ask another question while you're writing down. Yeah. I, I forgot about asking questions. questions. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> more questions. Um, At the viewing party last night, somebody asked you... um. Why do you think that there's only like one queen from the West Coast or one, and there's not really many from the East? They said, why do you think there's so many Toronto ones? You had a really good answer for that. So why don't you elaborate on that? Because a lot of people are like, oh, there's so many Toronto queens, there's so many whatever. And it's like the yeah. reason they gave actually makes a lot of sense, but people don't think yeah. about it, they don't realize it. Yeah. yeah, and like we want representation all over the place, of course. But like I said, like people move to Toronto, people from the West Coast move to Toronto. People all over the place, flock to Toronto because it's a big city, it's multicultural, there's so many opportunities to be whatever you want to do, especially in the arts. It's such a big art city and, um, it, you know, like if I were to have stayed in Windsor, I probably wouldn't have gotten Drag Race because there are so many opportunities here that, that they don't have in, in Windsor. Like I am able to perform every night in Toronto. There's always things going on and that helps me grow as an artist. It gives me the opportunity, the finances, the uh, the experiences, everything in between to, to grow and get better and better and better. Unfortunately, like with small towns, like we love, like I love drag. I love drag all over the place. They're not given that opportunity as often. So it doesn't, it doesn't give them space to grow as much and as quickly. Now I will say that there's some like queens who are like, like bedroom queens, which are fucking amazing. Like, mm -hmm. literally, like, some people, I, I don't know how they do it. They just have a really good job or something. Because drag is expensive. It takes a lot right. of time. And it takes a lot of skill. And people who put so much time and effort into that is amazing. Like, look at, like, like Jimbo. Like, no one knew who Jimbo was. Mm -hmm. That is a perfect example right there. And now yeah. she's fucking huge. Yeah, like, everybody loves her. She's an artist. She's been an artist her entire life. She's put mm -hmm. everything into it. She's... She's just really devoted everything to it. And like, that is what got her there. And it's just really, it's really hard. If, if she lived in Toronto, people would know, know who she is. She would have been, mm -hmm. she, it wouldn't have been a question that she was on. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize as well, like the style of drag in Toronto is very tourist. There is literally every single night from eight until two in the morning. There is a show, go there's two shows going on. There's three shows going on because we run up bars. and down the street going to every single bar, bouncing back and forth. So like. There's just more exposure and more time. So I thought that made a lot of sense yesterday. So I just wanted to elaborate yeah. on that because yeah. I know it's, people are weird about that. But I'm just like, yeah. well, it's, it's really just depends on the machine, right? It's like the machine here is the gears are turning honey and it's, well, and it's the same in the u.s when how many queens from new, new york, york city chicago, have yeah. been on new york city exactly. chicago la like exactly because they're uh, they just 
are in a spot where there's lots of opportunities to grow. There's pageants, there's, there's shows, there's, um, and it's not even just, you also have to think about the community too. Mm-hmm. There's a mil- there's like all these photographers, other queens, people to collaborate with on mm-hmm. so yeah, like, on site, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think it's unfortunate. Right. I mean, I'd love to see a queen from Manitoba, and I'd love to see you know, there's I know drag queens in Alberta who are phenomenal, and um, and the other East kinds Coast. of artists too. But um, but it's just like I don't know. We also have to remember that like the the judges and the queens involved are not in are not in charge of casting so like the people who are doing the casting can only work with what they've got and the knowledge that's there yeah like don't don't send us hate send hate to the producers i'm just joking <laughs> don't send hate to anybody. they're so nice i'm just joking i'm just joking no know you everybody is amazing like i'm really it was such a fucking awesome experience guys like yeah. i had everything i needed they were all amazing i was terrified of brooklyn the first few days <laughs> everybody's terrified i'm i'm terrified of brooklyn i'm terrified of brooklyn <laughs> you know when she like i because you know because i had a bad reputation for a long time and i know she didn't like me i've done some embarrassing things and i've not impressed her for the a few years and so going on there i felt like i really had a target on my back and i was fucking terrified but i, I stood my ground because like when we're standing on the on the main stage um i guess i can i can say this me and brooklyn would make eye contact because, like, you can only look, you're sitting there for X amount of time. And yeah. Mm. Look, so, so. And so she was, is an eye contact bitch. She'll just look at you and you're like, well, she can see my soul. So that's weird. Yeah. But I was <laughs> like, this is it, bitch. Like, are you going to back down? Or are you going to sit there and look her in the eye? Like, back there, and <laughs> you're like a couple of, like, angry cats just having a silent scaring contest. Like, Well, I was terrified. I was shitting my fucking pants for the night time <laughs> that day. And let me, I was like. <laughs> not that scary <laughs> once you know that she's, like, like soft underneath. I'm not scared underneath. of you as I as I stand in my potato. I'm potato peeing down, down my leg, but it's fine. I'll take oh, you. Oh my God. <laughs> you can see it because I am padded to the house. Damn, God, <laughs> yes, boots, mama. Um, is it Juicebox um, that has a story about peeing her pads or am I thinking of someone yeah, else? Yeah, no, I think it's farting. Juice. I think farting? it's both. No, I think it's, yeah, one of them, I think it's Juice and she has a story where she was like, oh, I got to pee so bad. Maybe if I just let a little bit out, my pads will my pads will soak it up, nice. and then she, but she'd been prevented from going for so long that she just let it all go, and the pads did not soak it up. I'm pretty sure it was juice. If it wasn't, I'm so sorry for slandering. Great. Me. Well, and we have, then, yeah. Oh, I think it was another queen who I'm not going to say her name. Really? Tell me after. I feel like Can I, I say her name? Her. I don't Crystal care. Queer? Oh. Was it? Maybe it was both of them. <laughs> just, I don't know. We come off this video and Toronto has a reputation for everyone pissing themselves. Um, Sorry, guys. Yeah. Really quickly, we're we're running low here, so I just wanted to really quickly, I wanted to talk about um, the situation that you spoke of in the show, obviously. Last night, I could kind of... <laughs> What's going on? What do you mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, last night when it was happening, I could I could see you off to the side kind of just being like, Nobody talk to me until this one part is over because I just want to watch. Well, yeah, because Juice went to the part of- up. <laughs> She's no. Do you want to? Do you want to host next next season? She's asking me all these questions. Same thing happened with Mona Moore last week. I was in fun Calgary, and I'm like, can I watch the show? Like, do you, do you <laughs> want me to like do host and then the next season? Like, is that what you want to do? There you go, Literally. Yeah. And then when I went and I was going, I was like, everyone shut the fuck up. I was trying to watch it. <laughs> did you did you clock that? I was like, shit, everybody. I I'm saw I saw like, when you were kind of watching that one scene. Then at the end, I saw you laugh at your little kick <laughs> and the, the uh, lip thing. That's, like, that's a boa move, bitch. <laughs> yes, yes, everyone at the table so laughed. Pain. <laughs> My feet are um, like killing me. But you, sorry, your question. Yeah, but I just wanted you to kind of elaborate on that because did you like did you go in maybe wanting to relay that story? Um, for the community or did that just kind of come up organically it came up like you know like when you go in you have things yeah that you have your story and you have things you want to talk about and tell your story um i wasn't going to push it so it had to kind of came up organically which it did we were talking about safety in the community and everything yeah, yeah. and um i just wanted to use that time to talk about um my experience and issues and then also i released a video last night on my I saw- instagram and my twitter um, and it's just got statistics and resources. Um, I, I partnered up with somebody from the Toronto Rape Crisis Center. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Um, I was at the fine. Toronto Rape Crisis Center at Glad Day Bookshop. And we just came up with like a little informative video. So um, if anybody is watching this and they, meet, and they are going through something possibly similar to what I have gone through, 
or even not, you're just gonna watch it, um, just give it a watch and I hope that it may help you or something. Send me the yeah. link and I'll put it with our post and description and stuff. It's yeah, all it's up already. I oh, is it? Okay, I'll find yeah. it, I'll find it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, Court, you wanna do the rapid fire one? Uh, oh yeah, oh crap, let me, what are they? Jamie, you do them. I put the thing, <laughs> I put the thing away. <laughs> thinking, print out your paper, Courtney. I don't have a printer. Hold on, here they are, here they are. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna do yeah, a rapid yeah. fire round before we do your stellar digital portrait and then let you run free. Poutine or maple syrup? Poutine. <laughs> Beaver or moose? Beaver. Smarties or coffee crisp? Smarties, 100%, I love Smarties so much. Ketchup so chips or all dress chips? All dress, oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Degrassi or Shits Creek? Neither. <laughs> what would oh, you no. say in oh, place? No. Oh no. What I say in place? Yeah. Fucking, uh, Canada's drag race. Uh, I don't know. Uh, wait, what's Canadian? Ding. Okay, I like... don't. Uh, that's it. That's the only options. Those are the only ones we can think of. I'm so bad. I, I also do. Do you guys it. remember the show Mystery Hunters on YTV? I remember it, but it well, it that's came out when I lived in the UK, so I didn't really like watch it. Watch it. Corner gas was sorry, guys. My hair is oh, dry. Yeah, that was sorry. cute. Yeah, All I right. actually have well, udders on it. I have udders as nipples. They're mini cow udders. Oh, that, that's so Can you cow. milk yourself? What are we talking about? Stop it. Stop yeah, it. Stop like it. Four. Stop it. It's time it's to like go. Four. No. Okay. No. No. It's the end. That's it. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the interview. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Okay. Thank you, darling. I'm so glad we got to talk to you. Thank you for chit chatting with us and Thank dealing you, with me too. the way that we look today. Oh, you look I'm awesome. Afraid. Look at me, bitch. I love you guys. Thank you so I much. I love you. And have a great day. Bye. Thank see you, you soon.